Civil society joint body don't carry we no go agree waka go human rights commission the sake of say Obonge government never still release show worry. United States of America don't place Nigeria for special watch list. Boko Haram don't attack some places for inside Yobe state. And for sports, Salah, Mane and Mares done the battle on top who will win African Player for the Year Award. My country people, good afternoon this afternoon and thank you so you join us on top as it take happen. My name is Na Na Douglas. And for the first story, one joint body of civil society, today will be Monday. The carry one we no go agree waka go meet National Human Rights Commission, sake of say, then they squeeze face. Say human rights report card under President Muhammadu Buhari no be am at all. Say the record poor. The group we don't give federal government 14 days deadline to release everybody within detained against the law. Say make government they try to obey court uh, order we court don't, don't give before. The group contact say make them touch lie waiting make them arrest show worry for the second time and which office has hand they for the matter. The group can they call government say make them sharply allow Omoyere show worry go in house. That is make them free them from detention. And for the second story, as it be now, the United States of America, uh, they don't add Nigeria for their special watch list of countries when they respect freedom as a concerned religion. They talk to Nigeria, no, they don't they break the rule on top religion matter. According by the list where U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo released, countries like Burma, China, Eritrea, Iran, North Korea, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan follow for the countries where then they use corner eyes they watch. Pompeo explains say protection of religious freedom now carry front bench under Trump administration foreign policy and they will work hard to promote religious freedom and deal with one, the one way countries know they respect religious freedom. But as a matter be now, they don't describe Boko Haram and eight other terrorist joint body as people of consign, within Oyibo they call entities of particular consign. It talks the US government will continue to challenge state and non-state actors where they abuse rights of people. And once they grab them, they will give account for what then they do. And on top, the one where we say federal government don't reject, um, the one where we say Obo the US tag Nigeria as country where no they tolerate freedom on top religion. According by one statement where Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed issue, they say this one where you are stag Nigeria as country where they abuse freedom for religion, now handwork of politicians were not happy with Obonge government. As in the and they use uh, issue, as they use each issue this one or they give Nigeria a bad name for front of American government. Like Mohammed, we talk say Nigerians they practice and enjoy their different religion, even as he had say, you don't know why US fall for this kind of strategy where few people will not like the country, CARICOM. He talks say. The one where we say politicians use religion on, on top of the farmer headers, Bege and Boko Haram to misinform U.S. Say Nigeria, no, they do anything to guarantee freedom for religion inside the country. Say that one alive with that. And still on the matter, one joint body of Christian, where they, they call Christian Association of Nigeria, don't welcome the idea of United States government, sake of the one where they put Nigeria for special watch list on top abuse of religion. Special Assistant Media and Communication to Camp President will be Adebayo Oladeji. Now he this one on top one statement when issue for Sunday. According by the statement, we talk say, although can know they happy say Nigeria they for that watch list, but then they happy say over the world they really took eyes on top what they happen for Nigeria. Pompeo explains say, protection of religious freedom now carry front bench under Trump administration foreign policy and they will work hard to promote religious freedom and deal with the one way countries know they respect religious freedom. And from that one, make with International Assembly. Speaker for House of Rep, Femi Bajabi Amila, don't talk say, the one way we say, many Nigerians talk say the current National Assembly in a rubber stamp is in a big lie with that. He talks say they no elect and to come fight executive, but to collaborate with government people so that the country fit get the gain of democracy. Speaker Yan, this one on Sunday for the end of year grassroots empowerment program will happen inside Lagos. When did they address other issues like the border where government closed? How Speaker talks say, it don't they bring a bungee result as farmers inside the country don't they smile, go put and collect money from bank. But Jabia Miller talks say, 
The one will be say federal government close border don't force many Nigerians to buy things where they make for Nigeria, aka made in Nigeria product. And from there, make we enter Yobe State. Suspected Boko Haram, that is people who they suspect they'll be Boko Haram people, they don't force themselves to enter parts of Damaturu, the Yobe State capital. According by one person we see the thing Koro Koro, the insurgents enter the town along Gashua Road near the police force headquarters around 5.30 in the evening of Sunday. The assistant director of Army Public Relations Se Sector 2, Operation Lafia Dole, Captain Njoka Irabo, now confirmed this one. He talks, say, security people there on top of the matter, sake of say the terrorists don't delete from Gashua Road where they first sight them. And from now, make we enter within concern accuracy maze. By now, the popular Jabi Park inside Abuja go down the jam park with traffic as passengers from different parts of the country, especially people from the south, don't carry their kaya to travel for Christmas holiday. Small, small, Abuja city don't they empty as people don't they travel to go see their family or their family people for village. By tomorrow, will be the 24th of December, places like Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja, and other cities go there like where people run, even though uh, people they complain say money no day for pocket. From motor park to train stations and airports, then record thousands of movement out of big cities across the country. Even as Sondon already land their village ahead of the Christmas and New Year celebration. Other, other people will get one or two other engagements to travel, fit still travel after Christmas. That is New Year time. And for the next story, as it be, as we are talking on top of this Christmas matter, uh, make we enter inside Senate. National Assembly don't pass the 2020 Federal Capital Territory budget of 278.3 billion naira as against the 232.8 billion naira where executive been proposed. This one follow one adoption report of Senate Committee on Top FCT for Friday plenary. Chairman of Senate Committee on Top FCT, Kiari Abubakar, will be say now in table the report talks say the increase of 45 billion naira. Now, to allow make them work for Obonga areas like security, infrastructure, education, health, agriculture, mechetra, mechetra. When they break them down, carry talks say personnel cost na 55.8 billion naira. Overhead na 62.3 billion naira. Recurrent na 118.2 billion naira. And capital na 160.1 billion naira. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, for the year 2020, the proposed FCT budget is a total sum of 232,875,365,947 naira on the table. In view of the above mentioned, the committee recommended the sum of 278,355,365,947 naira only as FCT statutory budget for 2020. Other lawmakers will support the committee report. Can they beg executives say make them make sure say they use money where they go release for different work. Make them use the money well. Things that have been done by the uh, committee, I think will not. It's not really ambitious because it will be achieved if within five months they were able to perform about 50 something percent. So, Mr. President, uh, distinguished colleagues, I've looked at the spread, and I think that uh, the spread, the increase on uh, infrastructural development, especially the satellite towns, because we need to really decongest the city center so that people can begin to own plus and even live in the satellite towns and come to work in uh, the city center. Uh, Mr. President, I've also looked at the increase in, on health, and uh, engineering infrastructure. On top of the FCT 2020 budget, Senate President Ahmed Lawan talks say, make them make sure say they implement the budget well. State Assembly of the FCT, we have discharged our responsibility. The next thing is for FCT to ensure that it implements the budget. So I will, on behalf of all of us, urge the FCT committee to be steadfast to ensure that what we have passed here is what is implemented. We will work together with the executive arm of government to ensure that we get those revenues that are supposed to fund 
the, the budget that we have passed. So I believe that uh, in this regard, will not allow the FCT administration not to do what is expected of it. We must ensure that this FCT is reclaimed. And on top of the one we be saying people don't they travel for Christmas, one of our correspondents there for one of the major parks inside Abuja, as we go join and make it tell us uh, the update of waiting they happen for uh, one of the parks for Abuja. John, good afternoon this afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Douglas. How are you been, Douglas? I'm there for Jabi Park now, and then uh, we monitor how uh, travelers. I will tell you, as I tell you now, this place is a very busy place. We have just like Mecca. Of course, we know say parks are places where people they usually uh, troop into because of waiting uh, motor parks and stuff. As but uh, for people they visit Jabi Park in recent time, you go notice say you go you go notice say today only they get some difference because uh, the rate at which people they travel is they on the high side. Even though uh, some of them they complain say uh, economic activity is there on the low side, and then. Uh, uh, say they find them difficult to 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 do so many things where they where they be set out for themselves this year. But yeah, people see they travel. Of course, uh, all work and all play make Jackson. They all boys. So one of the people I talked to earlier said, no matter how things be, said there was good travel. Now, uh, but one of the complaints was to get here. We say they they complain about the hike in transport fare. So I will talk say uh, the places where we maybe they, they go before where they, maybe they pay two thousand three thousand. Say they don't notice say. It get 50 percent or 70 percent increase in the prices. This one now upon save government, uh, make sure say uh, a fair price is no increase. So all the major problems where they get now behind me, you go see vehicles with unload. Uh, most of them on the day ready now to set out, and then uh, they go soon on their way. Some of them they go casino, some Sokoto, some uh, well, the ones where they go Ogun State, Lagos. Uh, Imo State and uh, Anambra State, all oh, we don't go talk to their people, uh, people they travel, and so all their complaints are the same. So, as I talk to you now, Jabi Park is a, is a miniature of other parks. Now, it's, now, I will use your set example as other parks waiting for Abuja today and maybe, maybe other parts of Nigeria. So, Jabi Park, they jam park now with people as they prepare to travel for Christmas so that they will go celebrate the Christmas with their lovely. Uh, once. Okay, John, uh, make I ask you this last question. You know, say, uh, before, for one to travel from Abuja to East, uh, what, is there the specific transport, the amount, before and now, the specific transport yeah. to the East? Yeah. Now, yes, yes, yes. Like, uh, it gets, uh, where we go any good transportation? We've been going to Christmas earlier. I've uh, been going to Christmas earlier. I'm going to talk to some of the travelers. Now, some of them told us before now, they be they pay 4,500 to, to Enugu State. But that's as of today morning. Today morning, they, they pay up to 8,000. Today, as in, uh, today, they were paying up to 8,000. So yesterday, people were even going yesterday, and they first they were even luckier than them. So those ones even pay less. Some pay seven. So but as of today morning, they were still paying, they paid up to seven, uh, up to 8,000 to 9,000. So the thing called the cause for alarm. Now, what do you make them vex say? So for well, no increase. What thing will make transporters they, uh, just they hike the prices in uh, the, 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 uh, in transportation fare? So it says it no make sense at all. So uh, as a matter of fact, they even call on government to see what they will do in a festive period like this, where we say they know say all these transporters they get that habit of unnecessarily jacking up the prices uh, of, of transportation fare. So may go and see how they'll fit cow touch like this uh, this area to see how they'll feel regulate their own activities. Even though say these independent uh, uh, tra uh, travelers uh, feel they, as a native independent they feel say they get the right to do whatever they want to do. But government see if you can see how they feel regulate the activity so that they're not gonna cut people throat anyhow with the want at their Thank you, Mr. John, for that update for where you give us on top of the people where they travel for Christmas holiday. Thank you so much. Uh, like one somebody, one of the passengers uh, or transport dealers for Kano, he talks, say, this season, don't they catch fire, not be small. My people want to see it for as it take happen for Wazobia Max TV. Will they come back with business news? <music> Thank you.
And inside business, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, where everybody knows as NNPC, on Sunday, don't announce say crude oil and gas export, that is what they carry sell for other countries, it don't increase by 52.84% to $355.93 million for September of 2019. NNPC's crude oil and gas export for September, now $123.06 million, we pass the $232.87 million, we then being record for August of 2019. NNPC now then revealed this one on top of their latest monthly financial and operation report for September of 2019. The breakdown of the figures shows say sale of crude oil would then sell to other countries contribute $267.97 million, that is 75.29% of the dollar transactions, compared with $150.73 million, million contribution for the previous month, even as export gas sales amount to $887.96 million for the month. The September 2018 to September 2019 crude oil and gas transaction shows say they export crude oil and gas for money will reach $5.63 billion. And the corporation will be NNPC still maintain their monthly profit as imposed trading surplus of 8.59 billion uh, naira for September will represent increase of 65% when compare them to 5.2 billion naira surplus with them post for August of 2019. My people will remain sports with a comeback. And as they hot, they don't drop before before Super Eagle striker or John Egalo from the final three man players with a shortlist for the 2019 African Footballer of the Year awards. The three man shortlist will be seen at Confederation of African Football CAF release on Sunday. Players will make the final three now Sadio Mane, Senegal, and they play for Liverpool. In club mate Mohamed Salah from Egypt and Manchester City Algeria forward Real Mares, now then follow for this shortlist. Calf cut down the 10-man shortlist to then release on December 10. For another one, we resemble them, Victor Simen and Samuel Chukweze of Super Eagles of Nigeria go slug them out with Akraf Hakimi of Morocco for the African Youth Player of the Year Award. Super Falcons captain Azizat Oshola make the Women Player of the Year shortlist. We also get Ajara Nchut of Cameroon and Tembi Gatlana from South Africa. Now the Tori be that, but before I go, make I remind on our top Tori again. Civil society joint body don't carry one with no go green waka go human rights commission. Sake of say they never stay free, show or moyele. United States of America don't place Nigeria for special watch list on top religion matter. Boko Haram don't attack some places for inside Yobe state. And for sports, we bring on our story say Salah, Mane, and Mares done the battle on top who will be African player for the year 2019. Thank you, say you join us on top news as it takes happen. My name is Na Douglas. On a good afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.